when a composer like Verdi gets the call to write an opera for Paris, it's a huge opportunity. But what is grand opera, let's say? Well, grand opera is perhaps something we can't even imagine today because we think of opera as being grand anyway. But no, in Paris, we're talking on a whole other level. Unspeakable opulence. Um, rehearsals, months of rehearsals for a new piece, huge choruses, obscene vocal demands on the soloists. And to put all these things together with what at the time was the best opera orchestra in the world, and this is also an attraction, of course, it was just something a composer had to do. Stefan Herheim's lavish production is faithful to the spectacle of grand opera. It's sung in the original French, but he's updated the drama from the Middle Ages to the Paris Opera House of the 1850s when Le Vepre Sicilienne premiered. It's not that important to really understand the historical background for the construction of this drama, because it is really indeed a construction. It's a very dramatic piece about occupation, about war. It plays in Sicily, originally in 1280s, and the island is occupied by the French. And the resistance of the Sicilians is not really developing because it's so easy for suppressors to just come and, and grab and violate people and shock them, forcing them into total resignation. We're in Sicily. We are being oppressed by the French, and yet we are loath to do, somehow do anything about it. So there's a hesitancy, a choked frustration in this almost sounds like a drum roll at first, even when the strings play. So this out-of-breath hesitancy is a feature throughout the piece. Think of that hesitant figure, as if it were Etna, just about getting ready to overflow, but never does. The looming rebellion is led by the Sicilian patriot Procida, played by Evan Schrott. He's a person with a lot of pain in his heart. He has a very big frustration. He really wants to, to get the freedom that his country deserves. Um, he feels, though, a beautiful beautiful and strong love for his land. Guy de Montfort, my role, is the head of the French occupiers in Sicily. Montfort is somehow the master of ceremonies. Uh, he has uh, all the puppets on the string in his hands and he tries to also manipulate them to make them in the right position for his plans. In direct opposition to Montfort is Hélène. She wants revenge because Montfort has killed her brother. La Duchesse Hélène, c'est un personnage très fort et déterminé, uh, avec uh, beaucoup de douleur dans son cœur, parce qu'elle a perdu son frère. Et donc, elle est en deuil. Et le, la chose essentielle qui la poursuit, c'est la vengeance. Elle veut euh, la mort de Montfort. C'est quelqu'un qui porte le message de ne pas aussi accepter le destin d'un peuple qui subit, qui est humilié. Et elle appelle le peuple lutter contre les Français. Hélène has promised her love to a young patriot, Henri if he promises to avenge her brother's death. Henri is, um, he's a Sicilian, so he's been brought up his whole life to hate the French, and in particular, uh, Montfort, who is um, the leader of the French, and uh, I find out in Act Three that he's also my father. That kind of puts a spin on things, as I've sworn to Hélène that I will avenge her brother, but then I have a, a, a personal um, conflict, uh, because I don't want to kill my father, of course, you know, even if you, you think, well, you've always hated or you've been taught to always hate your father, you would wish that um, if you didn't have one, that you did have one. Verdi's operas were famed for their parent-child relationships. And this one came straight after his trio of hits, which dealt with that theme. 
Rigoletto, Trovatore, and Traviata. So it's no surprise that what drew him to this story was the father-son conflict. We hear themes that represent the struggle between father and son. Using syncopation to really heighten the drama, then we have the most famous theme, again, uh, having to do with father and son, but this time paternal. Played out in the celli. And so this private element, along with this huge public spectacle, makes for a great opera. Thank you. 